Here is the relationship update we have all been waiting for. Whatever happened to Nicole and Azin from 90 Day Fiance? Guys, Nicole and Azin are one of the most ridiculous, unbelievable couples. If you don't know, there has been some pretty somewhat recent rumors on them. Everyone has been asking me, are they still together? Are they going to be coming back on 90 Day Fiance anytime soon? So here is the scoop. Long story short, it sounds like no and no. To answer the first question, are they still together? If you don't already know, um, Nicole actually went to Morocco, both believe it or not, in March of 2020, literally right when the pandemic started. And if I was her, I would have honestly probably, when I, first off, the thing is, okay, in March, we knew there was a pandemic kind of a thing coming. So I understand because no one knew how serious it was going to be at that time, at least in the beginning of March. By the end, by, by like March like 20th, everyone knew, okay, this thing's pretty freaking crazy and you, you got to kind of hunker down. And so I don't understand why Nicole did not get on a flight immediately come back to US because um yeah she, you gotta remember she has a daughter May who's like what five six years old why did you not come back so she was only planning on going for a couple weeks and she ended up getting stuck in Morocco and not for just like you know a week or I don't even know a month even no 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 she got stuck in Morocco for five freaking months and so I mean there's just so many things to say about this so she was stuck in Morocco everyone kind of thought is this even true see that was the biggest thing is it even true could she possibly be in Morocco? People were calling her out for that. And she was kind of, she was saying stuff like, you know, I think she was like showing like her IP. Like there was, there was someone called her out and said, there's no way you're even in Morocco. And I think she sent like a screenshot of her IP address. And I was like, oh, okay, she's for sure in Morocco then. But then people were like, well, no, she could have got like this like VPN thing, then changed her location. But it does sound like if you really look into the details, she was in Morocco. She was stuck for five months. Her mom, who seems to be like the only level-headed one in the whole family, was like, no, you know, May is staying with us. She's just getting more grandparent time. And Nicole's over there. So Nicole was there. People also speculated, is she even seeing Asin? Because they were on lockdown there for so freaking long. But it does look like she was seeing as in here and there. They weren't together a ton, but I do think they saw each other a decent amount when she was there. So she was there from March 2020 to August of 2020. I just don't understand for the life of me. We all saw Nicole in Morocco. She hated it. She just didn't, she did not fit in with the culture at all. And um, what did she do for five months? Like I get it, they were on lockdown, but it's still like, what did she eat? What did she do? What was she doing for five freaking months? So that's what I don't understand. That's that's what it always seems kind of fishy to me, but but we did get to see actual pictures of her walking around an airport in August when she went home. So like here was one though, there's the sweet old couple, Nicole and Azin, they have masks on. So yeah, I mean, I don't think it was photoshopped. I'm pretty confident she was, there's another one of Nicole, and then there's one of her in the airport, finally back in the US. And honestly, I don't see, well, no, okay, that one person is wearing a mask. So it definitely wasn't an older picture. She was there. It happened. She went to the Morocco. She got stuck for five months. That was the truth. But now you're probably wondering, are they still together? So that was my whole point. She went there. I must have not been a great experience because then she came back. And in like January-ish of 2021, something very crazy happened. She started posting things on social media that were very cryptic and weird where she was saying she's working on herself and stuff of that nature. All of her pictures with Asin were boop, gone, and also she had something with a ring, like an engagement ring as an emoji, and it might have been Asin's name or something like that in her bio, and boop, it was gone. I don't know why I keep saying boop, but either way, it was gone. And so that basically told us around January 2021, we are pretty freaking confident that her and Asin ended their relationship. And I don't know why I'm acting sad. That was probably the best thing that could have ever happened to Nicole. I don't know who broke up with who, but Likely, 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 they are not still together. There's, there's no way, and honestly, it had to have been as in. I think what happened was as in realized we are never going to come to America. This is never going to happen, and I just might as well end it and move on with my life. Because I know one thing, Nicole would never, I don't... I, you know, she did cheat on him at one point, but it's still like, I don't see her ever ending. And I think he was the one that ended it with her. She was there for five months. They probably had a god awful time together. And then he ended it. Of course, we must talk about the rumor, the rumor, the rumor, the rumor. The rumor was that Azin actually was married to his cousin. And he had like three kids with her. I don't know how true or untrue that is. Nicole did come out on social media because people were asking her and she came out and said, listen, when we were filing for the K-1 visa, I saw all of his paperwork. And in that paperwork, 
if there's a spot where you can show, you know, how many times you've been married. He has never been married. He never had a first wife. None of that kind of stuff. And it's like, ugh, I mean, it's, 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 yeah, it's possible. The one thing I'm going to say about Nicole, though, is she's so stuck in her ways. I feel like if, if he was married or if he did have another family, I feel like she'd feel so embarrassed she would never, ever, ever admit it. So I don't want to say yes or no for sure on that. There could be some possibility that, look, he's already married. He already has a family. He realized he's never going to come to America. And he just said, let's just forget it. I'm going to move on with my life. Because remember the whole store, the whole stupid store situation that her and, you know, she was funding the store and then the store never even happened. Well, supposedly the money was actually for his wife and kids and his family. I, once again, don't know how true that is, but it's, uh, I mean, you never know. It could be possible. But now to answer your other question, well, my other question, are we ever going to see Nicole and as an a 90 fiance ever again? I, I mean, hey, let's never say never. Let, let's let's kind of stay optimistic on this one, but I'd be shocked if we ever saw these two on 90 fiance ever again for a couple reasons. Number one, Nicole has been very public. She hated the experience. Number two, she claims that they weren't making a lot of money. And number three, I think she was kind of getting bad and rude and mean comments to her about the relationship, which don't get me wrong. I think the relationship was the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So she's probably getting comments to people like me. I'm not even trying to be rude. I'm just being honest. Like it was a stupid freaking relationship. So I don't know. I really don't think they're ever going to ever come back. There is a possibility. And I've heard a little bit of kind of just friendly speculation that maybe she'll come on a new season of 90 Fiance Single Life. Because if you don't already know, 90 Fiance Single Life is on right now. We got to see Ed and everyone else. And Natalie, who was once with Mike, now she is single. Sorry, spoiler alert, but it's pretty freaking obvious. She is now single. And it's like everyone's kind of talking because she ended up posting on this magazine cover that she was going to be on 90 Fiance Single Life. Then she ended up removing it. So we do now know there is for sure going to be a second season of 90 Fiance Single Life. And it kind of makes me wonder, well, who else are we going to see? We know Natalie is single. I guess we could see Varia. Now, Varia and Natalie are hanging out quite a bit, a little bit. They were both, I think they went to like Disney or Universal, something like that together. So they're kind of friendly. I have heard rumors that Varia is single. I don't know for sure. But it's like, who else are we going to see? So my whole point being, if you go back to Nicole, we're pretty confident. Nicole is now single. She's been really quiet on social media. She posts like once a month and, and it's barely, even when she does post, it's her on her Twitch thing. I don't even know what Twitch is. Twitch is some video game thing, I guess. I'm not a gamer if you can't tell, but she is on the video games and I guess you make money doing it. So I know she was working at Starbucks. Then when she was gone for five freaking months, she lost the job. So now I guess she's just doing Twitch full time, which is great for her, I guess. So, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't see her coming on back on 90 Day Fiance. I will say, I, I didn't think we were ever going to see Danielle come back either. I thought for sure Danielle was done. We were never going to see her again. However, she came on 90 Fiance Single Life. And same with Brittany. Brittany's kind of a funny one because I thought she was done for sure. She was bad mouthing the crap out of 90 Day Fiance, but then she went on Single Life. So, hey, y'all, never say never, but Nicole and as and no, where we can sit here about 99% confident, you know, just say no. They broke up. They're not still together and their relationship, engagement, whatever you want to call it, it is freaking done. So comment below what you think of that one. But before I sign off for the day, I do want to talk about 90 Day Fiance Single Life because this season, I'll be honest, it's been like a 6.7 out of 10. It has been pretty average at best. There's been a couple episodes, mainly with Ed, because everyone else has been pretty boring, to be honest with you guys. Like Molly's been okay. Danielle's been, eh, Colt has been all right. But uh, Ed has had some pretty interesting scenes. But all I'm trying to say is this. The season has now come to an end. We had the last episode on. I'm going to talk about it, I think, either later today or tomorrow. It was a pretty good episode. But now, we have the 90 Fiance Single Life Tell All. And oh my god, I just wanted to comment on it real quick because it looks freaking unbelievable. It looks so good. That's what I was saying. This season's been like a 6 to 7 out of 10. Not very good. But the Tell All looks unbelievable. If you don't already know, there's been drama with Ed and Liz, that is now his ex-girlfriend, so much drama, and I think they have, they've already broken up by the, when the tell-all was filmed, so that's going to be very good. We get to see Ed and uh, freaking Colt go at it. We also get to see Ed and Debbie, Colt's mom, go at it. And then we get to see Brittany, Brittany, Brittany never came. However, Brittany's man, Terrence, he did show up. So it's like, where is Brittany? What is going on? But it looks like Brittany does end up bailing. And so we have so much different drama. We even do get to see Molly, who is now with her 
singer man Kelly. I thought they were going to break up in present day. However, they do seem to still be together, it appears. But the interesting thing is we all know Molly was with Louise and they had an awful, 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 real short marriage and then a breakup. But guess who shows up? And that would be Louise. And I thought Louise got deported, so I guess not. But oh my God, you guys, this tell-all, it will be on I, it'll be on Discovery Plus. It's not going to be on TLC. Boo-hoo, cry me a river. I'm sorry. But it'll be on Discovery Plus if you have it. If you don't have it, don't worry. Yours truly will definitely be talking about it. It comes out next Sunday, and I will for sure be sharing my thoughts. Well, guys, 90 Fiance, Nicole, and as and we have a lot of different drama and things to talk about. I am going to be diving deeper into some other shows because the Duggars is something I used to talk about a lot more, and there is a lot of drama going on with the Duggars right now, so I want to kind of cover that more if you guys don't mind. If you enjoy it, let me know in the comments, and if you don't, well, I'm sorry, but I want to start covering more of the Duggars. I also want to start covering more of Sister Wives, Thousand Pound Sisters, little bit of Married at First Sight, and some more TLC shows. Like, everyone keeps telling me, Seeking Sister Wife, everyone keeps claiming it's amazing, and I watched it last night, and also same with, same with the return to Amish so so we have more shows I'm gonna be talking about pretty soon well guys 90 fiance thank you all so much for watching like I say every day now y'all this is kind of my new thing amazing things are happening I don't know why I have this here it's weird it's strange but I freaking love it and honestly you can just sit there I'm gonna do a quick little zoom and you can just sit there and read it and let that thing soak in and put it out in the universe or God or if you don't believe in anything you can still put it out there and hey you never know I, I really freaking believe that amazing things are happening. Well, guys, I love you all so much. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit the share, hit the subscribe button. Y'all better please stay tuned for many more videos.